A tropical paradise shaped by water, but storm surge rewrites the rules. What happens when salt water takes over freshwater wetlands? Wink News reporter Bridget Buchowski takes us into the marsh, fighting to come back to life. Marshes like this are supposed to be fresh water, but post Ian, salty enough to match the Gulf. That shift is not only changing Sanibel's landscape, but how this island survives. pre in I would describe it as like super green and tropical and luscious and just everything was really growing and um, not dead looking. Gianna Sinkaleski saw it firsthand. It's just not as strong as it used to be. There's not as much greenery and the plants are definitely smaller and kind of still struggling to grow. Hurricane Ian didn't just destroy buildings. It struck the island's natural systems. What just got destroyed in a blink of an eye? That was really hard to imagine, like, is it going to get better? Hurricane Ian pushed 13 feet of salty water across this island. That flipped every lake, pond, marsh from fresh to salt in seconds. They were just like the Gulf of Mexico. Most things that were in these freshwater systems, including plants, animals, you name it, died. Mark Thompson and his team at the Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation says post Ian, the difference is staggering. We lost maybe half or more of the vegetation on Sanibel. Even locals like Sin Koleski notice. Even when it rains here, it stays for a while. The water just kind of sits and whereas in the past it would just kind of dissipate. And just as the marsh was starting to heal, more storms added salt to the wound. All these Freshwater natural marshes were turning back to fresh water. Those big, deep lakes stayed salty, and they're staying salty now. Researchers say it could take years for these freshwater systems to recover. They told me as stronger storms seem to become more common, this may be Sanibel's new normal. But for now, on Sanibel Island, Bridge Burchowski, Link News. A tip 